What's up guys, it's been a bit now since a new Grand Duke Relic set has dropped and so the question is, how much of an impact has this new set had on follow-up attack characters and just how good are they now? Before we get into that, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Honkai content and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. So let's take a quick look at this relic before we move forward. The Grand Duke Relic set as a two-piece will, as it states, increase the damage dealt by follow-up attacks by 20%. Really good two-piece effect right off the bat. Now the four-piece effect will be, as it states, when the wearer uses follow-up attacks, increases the wearer attack by 6% every time the follow-up attack deals damage. This effect can stack up to 8 times and last for 3 turns. So the maximum you can gain from this relic is an increase of 48% attack for 3 turns, which is pretty wild. Now I want to highlight something in the 4 piece effect. Whenever the wearer uses a follow-up attack, increases the wearer's attack by 6%. So if you're not able to pop off follow-up attacks that often, you won't be gaining many stacks. So you would be kind of losing out on value from the 4 piece effect. Since we have now established that, which follow-up attack character can land follow-up attacks quite often. The first one to pop up for me would be Topaz. Topaz's entire kit is literally considered as follow-up attacks. Her skill is considered as a follow-up attack, Numbi deals damage considered as a follow-up attack, and Topaz's ult turns Numbi into Sonic with all of the speed he gains and will deal follow-up attack after follow-up attack. So overall, Topaz will make the most of this new rake set as she will likely be able to gain all 8 stacks of the attack buff and can proceed to blitz through her enemies. With this relic set, it would for sure be the best one for Topaz, so if you do have Topaz and somewhat main her, farming this for her would be priority. Now initially it was believed that this relic set would save slash give a boost to all of the follow-up attack characters, Jingyuan and Himiko included. Now, that statement is still correct to an extent. Of course, the two-piece effect having a 20% damage increase in follow-up attacks will be great. Unfortunately, characters like Jing Yuan will not be able to utilize the full effect of the four-piece effect of the relic set. As within his kit, the Lightning Lord is the only aspect that deals follow-up attack damage. His skill is seen as a normal skill as well as his ult, opposed to Topaz where her skill is considered as a follow-up attack and her ult enables follow-up attacks to be more frequent. However, due to Jing Yuan's only viable set being the full lightning set the new grand duke set will still be definitely worth farming for him as even if he's gaining one to two stacks of the attack buff he will be able to make use of those stacks within his skill and alt that being said Jingyi One's Lightning Lord is still going to be a bit clunky and you will have to give it some extra thought when using him to make sure you can get the Lightning Lord to have as many turns as he can to keep stacking the attack buffs. It might be a similar situation with Himiko, however Himiko seems like she will be able to launch follow attacks a lot more frequently than Jingyi One as long as there are multiple enemies. The more enemies Himiko weakness breaks, the more frequent her follow up attack becomes, in contrast to the Lightning Lord having to wait his turn to launch a follow up attack. Unfortunately I do not have Himiko as well as a a good set for either the new relic sets so I'm not able to fully test out how good it would be for Himiko. I am most likely gonna have to pull Himiko for my 300p character on the standard banner so I am hoping I can have a set prepared for her and see how good she does with it. With that being said, running the Grand Duke set as a 4 piece for Topaz would be essential. For Jingyuan and Himiko, you don't necessarily need to run it as a 4 piece, you could get away with just using the 2 piece only. For Jingyuan, you could also use the 2 piece lightning set and for Himiko, the fire 2 piece set or the musketeer 2 piece set as I know a lot of players tend to run that on Himiko. I do have Jingyuan but as I said, I still do not have a good set of relics for him and I've been farming since day one of the cabin dropping. I have actually used up so much trailblazer power and no joke not even two pieces so I am rendered to use support to see how much better they are with the new set. But overall I just believe the relic set has given follow-up tech characters a good boost and helped them with the two piece and for those that can fully utilize the four piece the relic set is just amazing for them and the one who is currently benefiting the most is of course Topaz. Topaz is just able to hybrid carry and does not need any follow-up type characters with her. She is so perfect by herself with this new relic set. With that being said, I am definitely considering picking her up on a rerun and I'm just hoping she doesn't get the Eula treatment and gets a rerun a year from now. I did have a feeling that this new relic set would be good for Topaz, but the unfortunate thing was Topaz's banner left as soon as the new relic set dropped in game, meaning that you would not be able to wait and see how good the relic set would be for her and then summon. Summoning before knowing that would have been a bit too risky. All in all, the Grand Duke Relic set has definitely been a great addition to the game for follow-up attack characters who were just in need of help for a while. So if you have a follow-up attack character that can frequently launch follow-up attacks, the Grand Duke set is one you should be gunning for. And those characters would consist of Topaz and Clara since she's able to pop follow-up attacks quite often. She launches them whenever she's attacked or when an ally is attacked whilst her ult is active. 
Characters like Jing Yuan, Himiko and Blade won't benefit as much as Topaz and Clara, but running the full piece set is still a great and viable option for them. That wraps things up, hope you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Honkai Soul content and if you did enjoy the video, drop a like and just comment your thoughts on the new relic set and what you think about it. And yeah, hope to catch you guys later.